Hey guys, this is Matt from Auto HDR, and today I'm just gonna show you the easiest way to completely automate your editing workflow. Now, I know businesses are set up in different ways. Some people use Google Drive for everything. Some people use Dropbox. Um, some people are totally different. Now, I have a real estate photography business too, so I totally get the setup. You don't wanna also just like strip out your current process and do something that's gonna disrupt your workflow. And we've made it super easy to actually just remove steps from your workflow and make it so that most of the time your photographers don't need to do anything different uh, or the upload steps are actually just a whole lot easier. So today I'm just gonna walk through, based on your current business, what your best bet is and how exactly you can integrate AI into your editing in the easiest possible way. So let's just jump right in. And this is based on where the platform is at August 16th of 2025. We are constantly pushing updates to make everyone's workflow easier, to make quality better, adding features, but you might be just getting started. You might be looking at every single photo, doing all of your QC, or maybe you have an admin that's looking at all the photos. Um, but no matter how your business is structured, there's a great way where you can automate your workflow. And so just jumping right in. The first option is just going straight to the Auto HDR website. So some people do this if they have a big team, you can make a shared team account. So here I can go ahead and just sign in. So if you don't mind your photographers knowing you're using AI, you just want everyone uploading directly to the site under the same account, sharing listings, sharing credits. Uh, you can have all your photographers in the same account, all your admins in the same account and you um, so that when the listings come in, you're notified and you can do the QC and download right from the platform. Then you can just upload right to the site. We have some teams with 20, 30 photographers all in a shared team account and the listings come through, just the admins get notified. They do QC, any touch-ups, twilights, uh, property, pin markers right through the site and then download them directly. So if you wanna do it like that, or you know, you're just a solo photographer and you wanna upload directly to the website, get the photos back here, you can add in a team member just like this and hit add email. And if you have several, you can continue adding in team members. And if you as the owner do not want notifications and you just want your team members getting notifications, uh, maybe just your VA or you know your admin for when shoots are done, then you can toggle off notifications. Now, all that they'll have to do is go ahead, sign into their account in Auto HDR, and then they'll just scroll down and they'll be able to see the option to select their own account using their personal account or using the team account. And so you can see, uh, I just added them from Matt at Auto HDR. They'd go ahead and select the team account. Now, everything is going to be shared between the team. And that includes listings, credits, style settings are gonna be pulled from the main admin user. And that's it, you're good to go. And so just real quick, the pros and cons of this approach is that everything comes direct into Auto HDR. And I see a lot of teams, including mine, that use Auto HDR to do their QC. So we do a lot of virtual twilights, of course, you can select images for virtual twilight and process them directly in Auto HDR. And so that's a very simple way. And so whether you're doing that, or if for example, like in this listing, there's a car in the driveway, um, you know, we remove those at our photography business. We have all the post processing tools that you need to do your QC directly in the Auto HDR gallery. Okay, and then so similarly, if you need to go through and you want to make tweaks like increasing the brightness, contrast, saturation, whatever it may be, you can do those directly in the platform and then go back and select all of your images to download and then deliver to your client. So in summary, this is going to be a good approach for you if you're okay with all your photographers uploading directly to the AI platform and if you have a very hands-on approach. So you find yourself doing a lot of QC work, a lot of post-processing, and you really like to tweak your photos a lot, review everything. Um, you're doing a lot of twilights, grass greening, removals, etc., that are going to require the post-processing gallery. Now, if you're less hands-on, you wanna really fully automate it. Um, this approach is simple and easy. You know, you can download and deliver to your clients right from there. But even easier is the Dropbox automation. 
Now, this is what I personally use at my business. And whether it's just you or you have a team of photographers, there's a one-click Dropbox automation. It's that easy. Once you click this, you'll authenticate with Dropbox. It'll take you back. And then anything that you upload to Dropbox, we will detect, edit, and re-upload back into your Dropbox in a new final edited photos folder. Now, very simply, what that looks like is you'll create a root folder called Auto HDR, and then you can have subfolders in between like um, the quarter or the month or the photographer. It doesn't matter. You can organize it however you'd like as long as Auto HDR is the root folder. And then you or your photographers will make a listing, and then in that listing folder, um, you'll have a folder called 01-raw-photos, just like this here. Now, whatever gets uploaded into there, we will detect, edit, and then re-upload back into your Dropbox in a folder called uh, 04-final-photos. Now, exactly what that looks like in Dropbox is you'd have a root folder called Auto HDR, spelled just like this. It has to be the very first folder, you know, a root folder, as in it can't be a subfolder of anything else. Once you're in there, you could have as many folders in between as you want, but of course, then you would have your actual listings. And if, for example, I was in 123 Main Street and I just finished shooting, I would create a folder called 01-raw-photos, spelled just like this. And then anything that gets uploaded into there will be edited and dropped back into a new folder that we create for you called 04-final-photos. This is an awesome option for people who just wanna continue what they've already been doing, right? If everyone's already been uploading it to Dropbox, this is a seamless way to integrate AI photo editing. No more waiting for your photographers to upload when they get home and then sending the link to the editor, making sure the editor's got it, getting the link back from the editor, uploading it back to your Dropbox and then into your delivery platform. It cuts out all that nonsense, like literally, you guys just upload to your Dropbox. The only change is what you're naming the folder. We'll detect it, edit it, and put a new folder back in your Dropbox. It's super simple, doesn't disrupt your workflow. We have seen teams of 20 plus shooters transition to doing this overnight, no hiccups. And you still get all those shoots in your Auto HDR account. So if you're processing listings through Dropbox, those listings will still show up in your Auto HDR account you'll still be able to see the status. And when they're back, you can still do your twilights, your grass greening, your removal, your aerial call-out pins, whatever QC you wanna do, you can still do it in the Auto HDR platform and then just download those photos. You're not gonna be charged any extra credits and you can swap them out in your Dropbox. So I recommend this if you've already been using Dropbox, you don't wanna really change the behavior of how your shooters have been shooting and your QC process is not insanely hands-on. Now we see a lot of teams shoot throughout the day now, they shoot JPEG because with AI, it's indistinguishable shooting raw from JPEG. And they're uploading on site while they're closing blinds, turning off lights and driving to their next shoot. They're uploading um, to their phones using an SD card adapter that plugs into their phone. They're uploading straight to that folder on Dropbox and it's being edited throughout the day and they're sending off the shoots, boom, boom, boom. So whether you're a solo photographer or you're a business owner managing a team, this is a great way to have better quality of life so that when you get home, you don't have these long, lengthy upload processes or dealing with editors. It's like when you get home or when your photographers are done shooting for the day, everything is edited. You do whatever QC, touch-ups, post-processing edits you wanna do, and then you can fire it off to your client or just have it ready for delivery by the end of the day. All right, now last thing, a lot of us use scheduling software and platforms like Spiro, Aereo, Tonomo, HD Photo Hub, right? You should be if you're a business owner. Uh, of course, it's gonna save you a ton of time and admin work. So if you're using a scheduling software, here's what I recommend. So we actually have direct integrations with Spiro, HD Photo Hub, and Tonomo as of August, 2025. So if you're a user of any of these platforms, we have one-click integrations. If you go into your settings in these platforms, you can make it so that anything that you are uploading as you normally would using these platforms goes directly to the Auto HDR AI. Then Auto HDR is going to automatically organize, detect, edit, 
and re-upload those photos directly back to your listings page. So this is the most automated workflow that you can possibly have. Like you're just uploading as you always have, but it's going straight to AI and straight back into your listing gallery. So this is by far the most optimal workflow if you're using a scheduling software. Everything will be edited and literally just imported back to your property website for you to fire off to your agents. Now, every single project that gets created through one of these platforms is still going to land in auto HDR as a listing, which means you can monitor the progress of the listing and you can generate twilights or do any editing using our AI editing tools that you'd like on the images still. Now, a lot of people use Aereo. If you're currently an Aereo user, what I do recommend doing is using the Dropbox automation. So in this case, so if you're using Aereo, you're probably already using Dropbox. And so there's a very non-disruptive way to plug in auto HDR to your workflow. And it looks like doing our one-click Dropbox setup in our account settings, and then uploading all your photos to Dropbox. They'll go straight into the auto HDR AI and it will detect, edit, and re-upload those final edited photos back to your Dropbox account. And everything will be ready there in a final images folder. Now, in Aereo, there is an option to import photos for your listing from Dropbox. So until we have an Aereo direct integration set up, what you should do is upload to Dropbox, have our Dropbox automation turned on within the auto HDR settings, Everything will be edited, come back into your Dropbox, and then it won't quite land in your Aereo listing page directly, but what you can do, and it's very easy, very simple, is go into Aereo and you can import files from a Dropbox folder. So when you're ready to deliver the files, you can go into the Aereo listing, click the Dropbox icon and import the files from the Dropbox folder that contains your auto HDR edits. Now, this makes it so that your editing is still fully automated. You don't disrupt the process in which you've already been uploading files. You know, if you're using Dropbox, you still do it in the same way. And you also don't need to be downloading giant folders of files and uploading them back. You know, especially if you have a VA, maybe in a country with bad Wi-Fi, they don't need to be spending all day downloading and uploading files. You or your photographers, whoever's shooting, just uploads the raw files to Dropbox, they get edited, put back in your Dropbox, and your VA or whoever is creating these listing delivery sites just clicks the Dropbox icon to directly import the edits to Aereo, and you press deliver. So those are the three main ways that you can completely automate your editing AI. And regardless of how your workflow stands today, there's very non-intrusive ways that actually just eliminate steps and make your life easier. It's not like it's some external software. Like I said, I have a real estate photography company too. I know you're not trying to introduce complexity or steps. You're trying to remove steps, save time, and save the manual effort of sending files to an editor, notifying them that they need to edit the photos, checking in, make sure they meet the deadline. And maybe in the morning, if there's missing files, they're offline all day, right? You're not gonna be in that position if you use AI editing. And so just to recap real quick, you can either directly upload to the auto HDR site, and if you have a team, you can make a team account. You can use our Dropbox automation, which accommodates solo shooters or teams, and everything will come right back to your Dropbox. Or if you're using a scheduling software, we have direct integrations. The Aereo one is pending, and for now, I would just use the Dropbox automation if you are an Aereo user. So it's super, super easy to get set up. We have had companies that do 90 shoots a day, transition overnight with 30 photographers, and they have no speed bumps, no hiccups. And so if you're contemplating making the switch, it's not hard. You can test run it very easily. And any of these setups literally requires like two to three minutes of setup time. And they're all one-click automations because of how easy we've made it. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team, uh, delivery at autohdr.com. We have 24-7 support uh, through there as well as the chat box on our site. And we look forward to helping you save some time and money. Talk to you soon.